Hello there, my name is Misen, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. And we're off to go meet J Judy. Over, uh, I know the, the uh, blown up car. Uh, just over there. But first, in case you want to get inside uh, this place or the the prison that's uh, right next to it, and there's another one over a bit farther away. The easiest way to get in there, normally I'm a big fan of dropping down than climbing up. But to get in here, you just gotta find a cross street like this. Don't walk. The reason I say it's a cross street is because you have the multiple signs, and these are usually at the cross streets. So just jump. You can land on these. Don't walk. Oh, come on. And it'll. There we go. You can climb on them. Then you can just run and jump straight across. Whoop. If we get off the... Oh. All right. Well, ideally you'd land inside, but there's really nothing in here. I mean, there's some cars down there you can drive around, but that's about it. Uh, the prison one, it's basically the same thing. Just find uh, one of these intersections like this that has these signs on the side. And you can jump and climb them. Fairly easy. Uh, it looks like down... Well, let's get a car real quick. Uh, none of these are real fast, but you're up front. One second, Judy. We'll be right back. You. Get out of the way. Yeah, so here's the prison, and right here is another one of those light poles with the cross streets on it. You can get in there really easy. I, originally, I was thinking maybe to go and uh, get a van, park it up here next to these uh, pipes, and just hop the fence because there's barbed wire on it to get over and then cross here, then just jump. But this is just such an annoying jump to make because you hit the barbed wire more often than not and you slide right down between that hole. So instead, it's so much easier just to jump up onto that sign, jump up, and you can hop in there really, really easily. It's so much more, uh, more satisfying. Uh, this prison here I've been in, there's very little in there. There's some guards, they don't really care too much. It's more the one, uh, not there, but over there, next to it, where the guards are much more aggressive about you being in their area. Oh, and we're rocking a bat because, well, we need to build up our bat skills. Are you? No, you're not fighting, okay. Just want to make sure. Hey, V, hop in for a sec. Good thing you're here. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. Alright, so this is one of the few missions that you'll have Well, an, an NPC with you. It's mainly... Well, there's a couple actually where you'll have an NPC that kind of helps you. Typically, they just hang back and let you do your thing. They try and really not get in the way. Thankfully, because fuck me. There's plenty of those games already there, out there that exist. Uh, there's a mural I think, right behind us. But we want to take out this guy first because... He can be a pain in the ass, I remember that. Uh, gate doesn't... wait. Fine, whatever. Uh, there it is. Graffiti? Uh, this is Justice. 
We already got that one. Justice, justice is the card of conflict resolution. It proclaims the need for order to see through lies and deceit and a return to the natural state of affairs. Justice implies a just sentence, but also due process. So that's what we're here to do. To give justice to these horrible bastards. Now... I've been shopping Chrome for five years, and I'm telling you, we don't do pranks. Well, I've you been can't. here for days, doing nothing but moving crates, and I fucking quit. Alright. You can do this incredibly quietly. Uh, by going over there. Uh, let's see if we can get in there quietly. I can show you. Oh, I also took off our... Uh, our uh, camo in favor of uh, more armor <laughs> so that we can get in just straight through here and it makes it probably quiet but I don't think we're gonna be quiet today we're gonna <laughs> I love the little thunk sound that happens when you hit them. Got the blueprint. Be there in a sec. Drop it, you fly here! That sound. The little thunk. Try to find a way to the lower levels. Oh, come on. Climb up there. Hi. Good. good try. I mean, we did some damage, but not enough. Oh, we're down here. Did they get rid of it? There used to be a stash down here that had some... Oh, I guess, guess they did get rid of it. That's unfortunate. Maybe it was on the other side. One of these sides, they had a... There was a crate down here that had some money in it. No, it's not you. Oh, well. Uh, and we would have come in there through the door. So there's multiple ways. All the good stuff, all the bad stuff. Uh, I just want to make sure we clear out as much as possible. And collect what we need to. Uh, orange. Trash. Uh, Judy won't pop in here until we actually make our way down. Uh, there's a, a few ways. Fuck off, stupid cameras to go down. We're just gonna take Found this way. way. You see my position? Yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. Yeah, we're just gonna take this one because it's the easiest. Uh, I believe there's also an elevator. Hey, hold up. I'm close. Take your sweet. You're taking your sweet time. Get down here. Come on. Yeah. Thank you. I'm here. Well, this is the we elevator. Need to get to level minus two. Bet get that's into. where they're keeping her. Hear that? That shirt. I know it. Evelyn's. Without a doubt. Keep donor sedated. If the property, f if the product fights and segments, if oh. And this thing has yeah, uh, knock them out basically. Get out of Looks like snuffs are only the tip of the iceberg. Yeah. Do drugs, yeah. Uh, well, let's go kill these. This up to you. <laughs> Show yourself, death. Normally, this would be really, really quiet going through this, but we're going to go through this a bit faster. Take them out quick. Nice of them to kill themselves. That's always good. Uh, you mean you're reloading? 
Or you had an armor. Fuck off. What are you doing? Oh, they're blinds. Gotta reload! Look at us get now. Sh shooting me. Hi. Goodbye. It's over. We did it. For now. For now. Uh yes. I kill you. Shit. Come at me if you think you're hard. Stand her! <laughs> Alright, so they threw a grenade at me, I'm assuming. Uh, luckily, I went and updated some of our armor so that we take substantially less damage. I see. That was beautiful. Incoming! You don't have to take them out. It's recommended because everything will go faster. Oh, hello, Johnny. Covers. Classic. Can't go wrong. Yeah. Except these are solid steel, not the softcore plastic kind. Even if you've owned Gunnan to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out. Yeah. This is where they... If you haven't put two and two together yet from the last episode in this one, this is where they take people who... Um, Uh, let's say fall on hard times or are sold or any number of reasons end up here typically kidnapped uh, you come here you are forced to do acts like uh, for brain dances and eventually resulting in your death or psychotic uh, then they record your death and chop you up for parts that they can then sell so yeah these are great people which is why we're being so nice to them i think that's a maintenance room Let's see what i can stir up yep uh judy's gonna leave us here There are cameras everywhere. It's, I would strongly recommend either shooting the cameras or, no, that's not Evelyn. What's up, Johnny? Oh. Got it out all her implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Yep. Scabs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. so. I hate this place. What's there to hate? There's nobody gets on us every day for sure. Hi. Up, oh, and we activated our psychosis. their main room up for their tech oh sure take that some good swag not really but who's a drinking violet is it you where 
Ramirez. Maybe she's here already. No, she's not. I can pretty much guarantee you that, Johnny, because there's more. Where are you? Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. Luckily. You really don't fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. Yeah. Luckily, they don't really wake up too much. Is there anything else in here? No. That's just a quick little loot room. All right, I'm here. Let's find her. Hang in there. Well, there's the elevator we're going to take out of here, I believe. Or is there one down here as well? Uh, here's the room from the brain dance we saw. Not that that's good at all, but... Just ties things together. Okay, so that's the room we want to go in. So we're going to go in here instead. Thank you. Good night. Oh. You can die. And you can die. Don't go network off. Messages. Heads up. Don't care. Don't care. Alright. Oh, we're going to take out that elevator. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable two. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And? There we go. Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, Johnny. Time to get out. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? Let's give him a couple. You saw how she looked. If it was up to me, I would have splashed some water on her face back at the studio and asked her straight up. It's not up to you, though, is it? Let's go. No. It's not up to Johnny because her psyche is essentially broken at this point, so... It needs to be handled delicately. Oh, so this is Judy's She's place. Sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her. Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any- I know. It's okay. 
So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Well now, look at you. I know it's a bad time, but I gotta ask. You got any idea how to remove the biochip? Or know anyone else who might? Hey, how you feeling? Need anything? Not here to nag. Just talk. All right, so she's uh not in the talking mood. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. She is not doing well, and I'm not surprised. Have a seat. Ooh, nice little place. All right, roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage him in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy, but I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? Take a look around if you want. Can't see her face. Hater is easy. Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That, or someone's working it for her. Huh. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys. But that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine-chilling Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be parfait, Bori. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself, uh, should I? Yeah. Oh, ah. Might not be important. Pacifica. Maybe, but all of them are from Pacifica. Narrows down our search, at least. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. A bioship? Will you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand. Hmm. All right, think we got everything. What do you think? Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me. If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into, <clears throat> I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. Pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. 
There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. We. Oui. Oui. Nope. Hang on. What language is she speaking? Dunno. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I? Wait, let me see if I've got an auto translator. Meantime, you try to tune into the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. We have to know what they're saying. Could be important. Yeah, it could. Fine. Just found the auto translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Allez, vous avez une raison, vous êtes tout intelligent pour ça, pour te y bien. Vous pensez que vous avez un problème? Je ne suis pas enragé. En plus, c'est le plus bon moyen de nous gagner pour nous arriver sur nos bouts. Il faut que nous puissions faire ça. What is. Oh, hello. Random guy? Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, so they were right. looking for Johnny. Or no, they were looking for Alt. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? Biochip we stole? It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. <laughs> Can you... Give me a minute. I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. Know who they are? Who the woman is? Any idea how we find them? Fuck, V. I've been dead the last half century. Sorry if I'm unable to hand you all the answers on a chrome fucking platter when you snap your fingers. Hey, what the fuck? You've known other shit. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that net runner. Finding her is our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that juju wirehead, okay? Johnny, why can't you just be honest with us? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? Hmm. I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's got to know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. See you around, Judy. Right. Um, thanks, V. Ah, Mr. Hands. V is calling. Ergo, V as well. Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief, if he can swing it. Ah, straight to biz. Ultra heavy variety. The Voodoo Boys, led by one Maman Brigitte. 
It's no easy feat getting an audience with her. Maman Brigitte? That a nickname? Spooky cold alias? Alas, I've not had the pleasure of asking her over tea. But no. Many assume otherwise, yet her title carries no religious weight. The Voodoos don't adhere to their cultural heritage. Rather, they loosely allude to it. Really not doing biz with the Voodoos? Surprised? I strive to avoid risking my dealings. They pose much of it. Still, feelers I can extend. No harm in asking around. I just need information from you. A springboard, if you will. Let's see, there's something I got that they want. You've got something for the VDBs. Trust me, they don't want it. They don't need it. An insular bunch all round. Tech, networks, what you will, all in-house. But if you insist, I'll poke around. In the event of a twitch, you'll hear from me. All right, now, because this is one of the main quests, uh, we won't get a call from him until we progress some of the other qu main quests. So they all have to be on the same page, essentially, in terms of com completion, before, oh, hi, can I, no. I honestly didn't think You could s wait. What room is? Okay, okay, I understand now. That's her. Okay. I thought this was the room that Evelyn was in, but no, I was just completely wrong, like an idiot. <laughs> All right. So this one's mostly completed. Oh, human oh let's see if Gary's still there Gary is the prophet guy who keeps shouting about the aliens and our reptilian overlords that are watching us from behind our eyes and stuff I remember this whole quest of his is just incredibly buggy and out of the multiple times I've completely completed this game, I've only been able to do his quest like two out of maybe the four or five times because of how they wish to rule, to broken it is. Your executives, your leaders, but they are not human. No, but they. Is it dis did, did it did it disappear? What you ask? Yeah. Oh yeah. Reptilian. You can recognize them by their cold blue eyes. Creatures born centuries ago on the Antarctic ice sheet. Yeah, change jobs. They hide their true faces under masks of human skin. Two-faced snakes, oppressors of humanity. If it's such a big giveaway, won't they just install optics or use contact lenses at least? If it were only so simple, they are reptiles. Their nervous system isn't compatible with human cybernetics. Then ah. why not have their own rippers in vents? Are you sure they haven't already? And where did this filth slither out from, you ask? Antarctica. You said that already. Today they hide amidst the snow and ice of the South Pole. Step by step, usurping our crown as creation's chosen. Millions of years ago, they evolved from dinosaurs to become the world's first advanced, intelligent race. And who is their progenitor? Their masters? The scientists of Alpha Centauri! I recognize you. You come. We've done this. Here. You do good. Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Their mothership conceals itself above our very heads. Ready yourself, for they are coming. Uh-huh. Go on. 
Open your mind before it is too late! If you turn a blind eye to their existence, they have already won! Uh huh, and. Come on, keep going. Radio waves bear the truth. Let those with ears listen and those with eyes behold. Alright. Sounds like he's getting about ready to repeat himself. Their mothership conceals itself yeah, above he's our done. very right. heads. Just wanted to make sure he's gonna repeat himself, because then we have to come back again. Uh when he's here to have that wonderful, wonderful uh, another step in his quest chain, which is kind of pointless. What did I say? No, it's not pointless. There's a... It leads to something, but it's not incredible. And, honestly, probably not worth doing. Alright, so we're down here. Hi. Who would have thought? The Empress. The Empress is a card of femininity and motherhood. She is authoritative, knows what she wants, and exhibits refinement, seriousness, the Seriousness, seriousness. That's a uh, fem, refinement and sens, sensuousness, sensuousness, not seriousness, sensuousness. It's been so long since I've seen that word written out. Uh, the Empress symbolizes creativity and growth, and instructs us not to dismiss our unconscious impulses, but to trust our intuition. Now. This kind of refers to potentially two characters. Uh, one is uh, Alt, which probably not really who it's supposed to re reflect more of Rogue. What now? Call the backup. Crack some heads open. Drag the bodies inside. I told oh, Mr. Hands. V, it's your lucky day. If you're serious about making headway in Pacifica, that is. Work some magic for me. As I said, whatever you're offering, the V-Boys could not, I quote, give a shit. You kept your receipt, I trust. Yet a counteroffer was forthcoming, a gig. Successful completion thereof could earn you an audience with Brigitte. Okay, so who do I contact next? Church, Sloan Lane, inside by the altar. They'll know to look for you. Got it. Thanks, Hans. Alright. Hey. In you go. Thank you, sir. Ah. Get you anything? Chew of mine earned a spot on the menu here. A chulo bowl with the bun? Yeah, I'm sorry to hear. Remember his drink? The recipe? Vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. And a splash of love. That's right. And the drink's name. A Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. Could definitely go for a drink. Tough day. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Johnny Silverhand, yeah. Negative, negative. Negative, negative. So it's the exact same thing. All right. Cool. Uh, let's go. B. Hey, come here. Let's talk. Oh, you. Uh, this guy, we... Uh, who sent him? Oh, one of the f Regina, I think, sent us to rescue him because he got pinned down by the tiger claws or somebody. And he was kind of helpful, but not really. How's the arm holding up? 
Ah, V, such a tender soul you are. Come on, Tiny. I'm serious. Well, after paying you and Regina your due, I still had Eddie's in the bank for this bad boy. So yeah, I'd say the arm's fine. Good. Well, it's been fun. Have a good time. No, this trouble, the net around me, you woke it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you know your what, own shit. Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Right. Rogue? Wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here. Not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking bro, just kicking it back on a couch at the aftermath. Don't mess with her, she's got MRI. See right through you. Give her the <laughs> truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer, worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn, Jackie Wells, t -Bar. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sakatel. How they shot me up right in front of her. Wanna go through old bits? Really? Fine. Johnny Silverhand. Zeroed inside our socket tower. Before your very eyes. Got more if you want. Or we could just talk. Got nads on you, girl. That on every woman, but they seem to suit you. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm -hmm. See you. Should be enough. Mm -hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Alright, so if you don't have the money, she'll send you to do an errand. Which we're going to get sent to do anyways. Uh, this will just basically speed up the whole process a little hey, bit faster. In some work? Now this guy is going to give us a mission to do. Which is going to give us a really cool weapon. But it's also kind of a dick move what he, of what's going to happen. So let's go talk to him real quick. Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Mm -hmm. Everything except my pay. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty free. Duty free and detail free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. Do you accept? Yeah. All right, we're looking for a fridge. Gotcha. Hey, hey, come here. Let's. Talk. We've already hey, talked. Hang on just a little longer, too. Clippers on the way. All right. So this quest, big in Japan, is a reference to the office. So we need to just go and do this, which is going to be up here. Uh, we can do it from this fast travel point. So we're going to go find a fridge, open it, take what's inside, and he's going to call us and tell us where to deliver the object that we get from out of the fridge. Now, unfortunately, it's not going to be a ketchup bottle or nice turkey sandwich something a wee bit larger and we're gonna be constantly well not constantly but attacked and kind of harassed a fair bit while we do this 
because we're not the only one that wants this oh wrong place that wants this uh, object uh, with no future graffiti on it now there's like four or five of them laying around here if I remember it's gonna be this one yep this is it oh shit he's in rough shape but alive let's hear what Dennis has to say hey got a status find the package he's a little worse for wear but no issues what's next I prepared a car for you put the man in the trunk and head to north side the address is in the GPS okay one more thing watch for tigers they've got their sights trained on your new companion we, we, what? <laughs> Asshole hung up. Yep. So, the, as soon as we pick up the body, uh, we're gonna get attacked by Tiger Claws. So, we're gonna move slowly. And we have to follow the path that's laid out for us on the map. Why if we, do you do this? If we don't, we run the risk of Essentially, oh, failing. Wow, he really bashed my fucking skull in, didn't he? So, typically, well, since it's 2.0 update, the best way to do this is just to do what I'm doing. Let's get this party to started. Just pick him up, have the guys spawn in. And then run around and for what you did. and neutralize the threats. I love. Now, before the 2.0 update, you could pick him up, activate your uh, Sandy, and then just run with him at full speed and make it out of here before any of the tiger claws attacked you but they got rid of the perk that lets you run while carrying a body so now please have mercy yeah now we're stuck at this pace where we cannot defend ourselves and we cannot activate our sp our sandy uh, the sandy lets us go super speed fast basically and we can't jump anymore either get out of my way don't make me I will stab you I don't care yep oh, Judy hang on uh, not yet mm -hmm. What about her? Any improvement? No. Nope. Deep in her brain. Yep. So, her brain is essentially broken. And hopefully she'll find some peace someday. Now this quest also used to be really, really bugged, uh, mainly because whenever you would pick up a body, you couldn't put it back down and pick it back up again. So if I try to, like how I can put him down, once I did that once, I would never be able to pick him back up again. And what happened most of the time is that when you drop the body like that, the body would die basically the person would take damage and they would die why i don't know i think it's probably because to have the body laying on the ground and be able to be picked up that it would put that uh body 
characteristic as like critical, where it has like one HP basically, and dropping it would cause damage, which would kill the person, and would cause you to fail missions where you have to take bodies and put them in trunks, like this, or if you needed to carry someone from point A to point B. But, luckily they fixed that in one of the updates. Don't. Oh, he died. In the area. Disorderly conduct reported in Watson. 331 responding. On my way, dispatch. But only because I like you. Oh, shit. Wow, this is a bad spot for us. Locating the suspect. So we just can't go too far from our car and then the hall disappeared. There we go. Now, if we go too far from the car, it will basically in instantly fail us which is why I didn't go that far I was hoping we would be able to get away but no no luck so here's this guy jobs done I see that well done excellent work holding in there all right Hariyoshi they need to give me hope Early warning about the Tigers would have been nice. I had a hunch you'd manage this just fine. Given that you're here now, I see I was right. So who is this guy? He'll tell you his story. Hariyoshi? In Japan, brain sergeant, top of all. Good instinct. One day, Tiger Crow boss needs surgery. But both die on table. Tiger Crows were very angry. I hide in boat. Swim to America. Here, Dennis saved me. But there is secret. I killed Tiger Crow boss on purpose. World best surgeon, make no mistake. <laughs> this is all very heartwarming, but you haven't paid me yet. I know, here. May this blade serve you well. Who the fuck said that? That was neither of them. All right. Okay, that's good, I guess. So yeah, that's the one of the offices, one of the references to the office in this game. That's probably one of the best known ones. And the sword we received, one second, let us level it up. So it's a max level. So this is the one we got from uh, Wakako, which gives us a... Uh, it allows us to basically leap towards the enemy. And it also lets us do a quick fury of attacks with it. It's basically uh, this perk here. The Flash and Thunder Clap, which is really nice. But since we have this perk, we can do it with any blade so we don't need this sword uh this sword actually does some good damage 148 versus this machete machete is always gonna do more damage but it's slower and it costs more stamina to do uh the scalpel however whenever we have our uh sandy active our what well, slows down time the crit chance increases by 50% and all of our hits apply bleeding, which is incredibly powerful, especially when we start going into uh, the build for this, which is finishers. The blade costs less to attack with. The speed is increased. Uh, once we get this one 
once there are enemies that have bleed on them, the more susceptible to finishers, meaning we can kill them quicker. If we do a finisher, our everything increases by 25%, basically the speed and attack. And this increases the range. And when we do a finisher, not only do we get health back, but we also gain more stamina, so it all stacks on each other very, very nicely. So the sword is incredibly useful. At least until I think there's a one better sword than this that we that I think we'll probably go with. I don't know if it's still in the game though. I think they may have removed it or they nerfed it. I guess we'll have to find out though for sure. Can I? No? Okay. Alright, well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We started a few things. Well, we wrapped up a quest. We rescued Evelyn. And we got a job to do down in Pacifica. As well as some information we're waiting to hear back from Rogue with. So hopefully that'll be next time. Uh, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you then. Till then, bye-bye. <laughs>